and stuff. Okay. Billy, come here. Well, I'm not, I can do it from here. Yeah. Let everybody no, hear. Let everybody can hear. So I'm, I, I guess going to meet Billy. Let's say I meet Billy here at this place, okay? And I'm like, hey man, great to meet you. What, 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 are, you doing, what are you doing in Denver? Uh, I'm ski bum. Oh, cool. Hey, plus, I, I don't know. I've only skied once my whole life, but to me that's just like pure suicide, so that's a pretty good idea. Uh, yeah, sort of, I like it. How about you be you and your several adventures? That'll be easier. Okay, are we in Denver still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so it's, it's, real, it's a real example. And so I go, cool. Well, and then so I hate Billy, whatever. I'm like, cool. So I will say something that's kind of a transitional line. I'll say something like, hey, listen, my buddy and I were just laughing. I'll say my business partner and I were just laughing the other day. What do you like best? Oh, I should have asked what you do first. I'm sorry. So we met. What do you do? I work for a shopping center. Cool. What do you do? Yeah, so what do you do is the first question. And I'll say, my buddy and I were just laughing the other day. What do you like best about your job? Um, it's pretty carefree. I get to kind of come and go as I please. So kind of get to set, set your own schedule a little bit. Kind of, kind of. But I still have to be there at eight o'clock. Cool. And the other thing that we we were talking about, my partner's not with me. The other thing that we were talking about is what do you like least about your job? Reports and paperwork. I fucking hate that shit. So, so I know. So you hate paperwork, but you love freedom. You love having your own schedule. Yeah. Well, it's really interesting, Billy. I'm in Denver. My, actually, I'm out here with my business partner. Uh, we're expanding our, our company into Denver right now, and we're looking for some sharp people. You keep drinking lots of dope, or do you want to do that until you retire? Watch this. Do you want to do that until you retire? No. Don't. So you, do, are you, you keep your options open? Absolutely. Now watch them. Watch this. I can't promise you anything, but it, give me your name and number real quick, and I might give you a call. And I might not. And we can super slam. But if I get a window, I might give you a call. If not, hey, cool. This is at the bar. Had a good conversation. Sure. What's it, what are we talking about? What is it? So that does that come up? Oh, yeah. oh cool. Well, here's the thing, man. You know, first of all. It's an online company that's expanding really, really quickly. It's in the travel space. But more importantly, it doesn't really matter right now because I don't know if I'm going to even have time to meet with you. So if you give me your name and number and I get some time, I'll give you a shout. If not, cool. That's cool. What am I doing? Take it away. Take it away. Just like, well, I never... See, everybody else I talk to goes, it's like stealing someone's telephone number. Like, give me your number. Give me your number. Let me steal it from you real quick. I'll call you and I'm going to show you what we do. I don't do that. I'm always pulling it away. I'm always taking it back. Say, listen, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to even have time to talk to you. Right. You're calling you Always pull it away. If you ever try to, if you ever try to date a girl, if you go on and you go, wait, I'm like, but if you go, I don't really know if I'm going to have time to call you, girl. I'll show you what happens? Well, take my number, you know? What's this guy doing? So that takeaway, that concept of the takeaway, I'm a master at it. And so what I do when I call Billy, I'm like, hey, cool, it's really interesting, Billy. A couple of meetings canceled, some time opened up. I've got a couple hours of my week to actually work. I've got 3 o'clock today or 4 or 7 o'clock tomorrow. Which works for your schedule? 7 o'clock after work. Perfect. So you do like an ultimatum by this day and this day. Either way. Either way. Yeah. Give him two options. Yeah, you don't ask him if you can meet. You tell him. Yeah. You give him two. So you empower them. Let them think that they're making the, cho the choice. Say, hey, I'm actually free at four o'clock today or seven o'clock tomorrow. Which one works? So just a recap of questions. What do you do? He said. He said we were for you know, cool. cool. My partner and I were just laughing the other day. It was a cool, kind of a fun transition. Like, what do you like best about it? What do you like least about it? The next statement, I, or the next question is, do you want to do that until you turn 65? If his answer is yes, cool, man, A plus. High five. Boom. Right. <laughs> but if he says yes, he will still say why, and you ask. So let's do that. So, so I say, yeah, I love my job, but why? Cool. No, no reason. <laughs> What you, you, had to, you had to ask for Look at He's going to start frying it out of me, isn't he? See the point? See how we're so eager to like puke on people versus be it, listen, to be it like a girl 
that walks around the bar with the hottest dress on in the bar and doesn't look at you. She's like this. And walks away. That's the girl that you want to talk to because she's the one that, you know what I mean? It's the same principle of old magic, playing hard to get. <clears throat> so for us, the way I recruit, here's the difference. So when I go to call Billy, he's waiting for my phone call. You'll call him in what, two days, three, whenever? Whenever you feel like you want to call. In other words, whenever your time opens up in your yeah. schedule. So, but if you're doing that, if you're getting two or three numbers a day, you've always got people in the funnel. You've always got stuff going on, but you're getting two or three numbers a week, it doesn't yeah. work. So for Billy and I, we went down to Kansas City. We got down a couple of hours early, had some time to kill, so we had prospected two people just sitting there. You should be doing that everywhere you go. Did we enroll either one of them? Nope, does it matter? No, it's you're getting numbers and showing people. That's all that matters. So, so you just ask about the job, what they like the best, what, what they, they like least. What they like the least. Me and my business partner are just having a fun laugh. Um, you know. And they'll say, cool, do you want to do that for the next until you turn 65? No? Then I'll say, cool, well, do you keep your income options open? And if he says yes, say cool, I can't promise you anything, but I'm actually a town on business. My company's expanding right now. I can't promise you anything, but I'll talk to a business partner and maybe we'll have time to meet with you. Maybe. Maybe. See the difference? What's that? Yeah. So, I mean, that's the person. Does that help you with cold stuff? Cold yeah, stuff? definitely. So somebody tell you, you know, I have the money about Friday. Okay, let's do the money objection. Oh. Okay, everyone hear how I handle the money objection? Because I'm an absolute beast, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's what she said. <laughs> Okay, so Billy's going to be a you know, let's just have Billy be a prospect in. And I want him to be kind of tough. But I'm going to show how I close, okay? First things first, the presentation ends. Billy, what's like best, the travel, the money, or both? Listen, it's like the travel, the money, or both? That's my first question. Uh, money. He says the money. What's, what's the next thing I want to say? Most Great, say, me too. Cool. You ready to get started? That's what most people say. That's not what I say. So he has the money. I say, cool, which part of the money? I like the residual income. He likes the residual income. Awesome. I flip over the income disclosure statement. I'm like, here's the income disclosure statement, right? On here. I go, which of these incomes monthly would help you out? I understand everyone spent this money, but what would just help your situation, your living situation out? The top, baby. I always want the top. So you want to make, so you want to make fifty thousand a month? Absolutely. Cool. Here's the next question. What would you do with it? Buy a boat. Buy a boat. Awesome. What kind of boat would you buy? It's not At least forty foot long. What would you do with it? The way you can park it in my fucking lake house. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to make it so like a fast boat, a slow boat, a pontoon boat? A boat to get out. Hold fifteen chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So, now here's the last question. How would it feel to drive your boat out of your lake house on the lake full of people just having fun for the weekend? How would that feel? So it sounds to me like you're ready to start. So, what did I close? Did I close World Ventures? No. Did I close travel? No. Did I close money? No. What did I close? I closed his boat. On his I closed that boat. I get the motion. How do you feel? Oh my god. So, what do you like best to travel the money? Which part? What would you do with the money? How would that feel? Are you ready to start it? Okay? Now, we get a lot of people that don't have the money. It sounds like What? It sounds like it. Oh, yeah. It sounds, it sounds to me like you're ready to start. I don't have the money. Because he's talking himself into doing this, right? I got it. I got it. Last thing. So, you have the money. Ready? So, so you ready to get started? Uh, I love it, uh, but I just don't have the money. Probably like in a month. Cool. He goes, I don't have the money. Let's say Billy's 25. So, you're 25 years old. Billy, how old are you? You're 25. No, so, Billy's, I go, I go, how old are you? He goes, 25. I'm like, cool, Billy. How many paychecks have you been paid your entire life? 200. 
So do you realize you've gotten 200 paychecks and you don't have $365? So here's what's happening. You don't have to answer this. You figured out a way to be broke. You understand that? Now, I'm not saying that to belittle your situation because you know what? I was in the exact same situation. I'd been paying a boatload of money and I was in the exact same situation because life experience had taught me how to be broke and that's where you're at right now. Because if you don't have 365 bucks, would you agree that's a problem? Yeah, some shits just came up, man. And it's always gonna come up, Billy. So here's the thing. I'm showing you a way to change your way of thinking. See, you're thinking of the reasons, you're listening to this, you're thinking of the reasons why you can't do this. You know what the millionaires and billionaires do? They know they don't have the money. You know what they do do? Figure out a way to get it. Do you want to think like a millionaire or a broke person? Well, like a millionaire. So how are you going to do it? How are you going to find the money? I don't get paid until Friday. Cool. Is there any other way you can access it? I'm just that, not that kind of guy that borrows money. I never want to be that guy. Fair. You know what? Then you're also going to stay that way for the rest of your life. Because I knew when I saw this, I didn't have the money and I couldn't afford it either. But you know what I was going to do one time in my life? Once? I was going to bet on me once. Because my whole life, I hadn't ever bet on me. I kept listening to what everybody else was saying. And no one else would ever bet on me, so I listened to them all. But one time, this time, when I saw World Adventures, I decided to bet on me. Do you want to bet on you once? I know I can do it. Let's go fucking do it. How can you get the money? Yeah, I can sell something. Right. See, it's all about, I'm way more confident in doing it than he is in not doing it. You don't talk him like I know him. <laughs> if you've got 200 paychecks, you don't have 300 bucks in your account? Something's wrong. Yes, you got it. I need it. Uh, yeah, I need it. Yes. Yes, you got that. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Like that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> right? In fact, let me, let me just go. See, I'm yes. taking out. Like, how old? Uh, I'm 24. Where? How old is the person? Uh, 208. 234 and 34. You go to Billy Amigo. Listen, dude. 9223. Two, listen, I don't care whether you guys get it or not. I'm going to kill this up. Your name? Ace. Now, when I kill this, right. you guys get to over at all the, all the sales. It doesn't matter if you're 35, 25, or 55. If you're going to go kill it, and I, and I get you, I'm in with you. All I got to do is look in your eyes and know you're going to go do it. Where are you? Back to Brett. It's on. What yeah, do you yeah. you guys sign up with me if I did that to you guys? Yep. But do you, do you see the reasons why you're not getting the people? Or you're not getting the people? I think 95% of the people here don't have the confidence. 